Hey there, so I'm just going to post this video up for future reference for anyone that's working on a Moen 122 to 1222 cartridge. And they're trying to install one and they may notice that it's not going in completely. Um, I know that I had this one. It's about 20 years old. First and foremost, it was hard to get out. Um, basically, it was just a matter of trying to pull it out as... With as much force as possible some people have luck and the entire part comes out um so it comes out with this in the front and along with the i guess a plastic you know casing that it has i don't know the proper terminology but um i was able to get everything out together but when i was putting the new cartridge in i just noticed that the pin which is this right here wouldn't go in so basically the cartridge wouldn't fully go in far enough for me to put the pin inside so i was doing research doing some uh trying to figure some stuff out here about how to properly adjust this because when i ended up buying one of these new remote and cartridges Again, just wouldn't go in. Um, I bought a genuine one. I even bought an aftermarket one. None of them worked. So, um, through re I guess just through reading online and seeing what's the best alternative that I could possibly find out to this, I found out that the newer cartridges that they make, um, it seems like this back end over here does not... Um, does not fit as well as the older ones it seems like this outer ring over here is slightly bigger than the original one so um trying to zoom in as best as possible so originally i was trying to sand it on the top i literally just grabbed sanding paper this one over here and it's uh 100 i don't know if there's a better one you know i'm trying to do this as best as possible with as little plumbing knowledge as possible but first try sanding at the top don't recommend it didn't work it wasn't a matter of length i think it was just a matter of width up around here so first car that i tried doing that didn't work again at first i thought it was longer but it's not the case so then what i did was with the other one i purchased was i sanded it around this these two plastic rings at the top kept sanding it it was a matter of trial and error you know sand it for a little bit try to put it back in if it wouldn't work take it out put it back in and um, soon enough i was able to sand it down to the extent that i was able to get it completely in as you can see here um so far I'm not seeing any leaking, so it doesn't seem like I damaged the, the uh, product. Um, probably void all warranty by trying to alter this, but it was the best alternative that I could find. Um, I will keep people posted if I have any other issues with this, but so far um, I've had it in for a few minutes, not leaking. Um, it's easy to turn, and just overall it seems like that was the main issue to this to uh, finally get the pin in so hopefully this works for somebody that is having issues